<laughs> like working with these, taking these acting concepts that you're talking about. You were you worked with a hell of a lot. Of, all these old professional Hollywood directors. I'm thinking especially of the three pictures that you did with Henry Hathaway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was a guy like Henry Hathaway aware of these kind of acting concepts? Uh, no, no. But like I I, thought, I learned a lot from Henry Hathaway. And uh, strange enough, when I was doing Out of the Blue, I I used a lot of the things. No, he wasn't. And like you know, uh, the concept of me being a rebel and 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 the concept of me. Uh, I wasn't a rebel. I, w I guess I was a rebel, but it wasn't that I was angry. It was that I was just trying to change the system of the school mom approach to things of you say a line reading this way, you pick up the coffee cup now, you, you put it to your lips now on this line, you put it down on this line, da da da, you turn this way and you do this. And, and it was like, you know, and you say the line, hello, how are you? Not hello, how are you? or hi, how are you doing, or any of that. No, it's like got to be this way. But I found something out uh, uh, in the first picture that I did, and then uh, it was a great like Western from Hell to Texas. Yeah. Excellent Western. Thank you. Yeah. But I was bad in that movie. I felt out of place after I saw it. I felt that I was in another picture, and that's not good. I mean, a picture's got to have, a picture's got to be a picture, and the director's a director. And the next time I worked with him on The Sons of Katie Elder, which was eight years later or something, uh, I took his direction and, uh, uh, and tried to justify it and did and, and was much better in that film and uh, whatever. But like, uh, well, once you direct a film, like you've got to respect the fact that the director is the director. And uh, Hathaway, I, I learned a lot from Hathaway. And, uh, uh, Tough guy, huh? He's a mean man on the set and a nice man to have dinner with. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting too that I guess uh, in '69, your two films, two of your films that were released, you were in True Grit yeah. that he directed, and Easy Rider was, which really to me is a western. Yeah, uh, yeah was I think it was, a, I think was, it was a western. Also. How'd you get along with John Wayne? Uh. He kept uh, running around with his 45 so every time something happened, saying, Where's that commie hopper? I'm going to blow his brains off him. I, uh, I got along with him pretty well. I, uh, Mike and Pat Wayne uh, are still friends of mine. I don't see them very often, but uh, I don't live in that part of the country. But, uh, uh, hey, he, Duke was Duke, man. <laughs> like, you know, he won the, the war in Iwo Jima. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> you, know I mean? you know, but... Uh, uh, he was, uh, I, I, I liked him, you know, I liked him. Get, get the they were all honorary, these guys. These guys were honorary men, you know. They were tough honorary men. John Ford and... Uh, Wellman. And, and Wellman and uh, uh, Stevens was no, uh, was no pussycat. Uh, he told Jack Warner to go back to his office and get off the set. He didn't go sit in his office, so he ain't going to be on his set. I mean, these guys were really tough. and uh, And... And they made tough movies. I mean, like uh, uh, and those outdoor westerns, Ford of uh, Fords and, and uh, of, of Hathaways and well, I mean, those people, uh, they uh, they were tough, and um, and a lot of them came up through the labor, you know, uh, through construction. They got jobs. There were no jobs, and they'd be uh, they'd be snuck in in the back of trucks into uh, like Universal or one of the studios, and and be scab labor and start as uh, you know as carpenters and work their way into like you know wardrobe and into props and uh, work their way up that way. So they knew the business. That was the one thing about the studio system. You learned the business if you wanted to. You know, you go watch uh, George Stevens editing. You could like, you know, you, you, you did loop foreign films. You did like, you know, uh, uh, you had the opportunities of, 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 of learning about the wardrobe and picking your wardrobe and, 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 and props. And, and you, learned, you learned the basics of the business really well. And you learned the kind of things you say by rote, like, all right, let's get ready. We're going to take a, you know, we're going to make a take now. Lock it up. You know, lock it up. You know, just what, you know, the, the things by rote that, uh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, so a, re a reaction to, to, to that kind of filmmaking was Easy Rider, which I know was made for on a very low budget and really, really revolutionized the whole the whole industry. Uh, talking about the movie industry, as well as really 
you know, the, the youth society, whatever you want to loosely categorize. I know if you, if you, you know, realize how many, how many kids of that time grew up with, with, the, with the fuck you poster from yeah. Easy Rider on their, on their bedroom walls. I, I certainly did. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the impact on that film had not only on the movie business, but on, uh, on kids. On, on TV. I saw it on a nuclear uh, aircraft carrier, Monte Carlo, July 4th, 1976, when uh, Henri Langlois had asked me to open the uh, second uh, Cinematheque in Nice, and I went and uh, they took me into where they pushed the buttons for the, for the bombs with the two keys inside this thing, and there was, there was the poster of me giving the finger right on the nuclear... Uh, nuclear aircraft carrier. That was that was banana cakes. But anyway, you have to realize how much change movies make. I mean, in L.A. at the end of, like, Easy Rider, they screamed, kill the pigs, and in New Orleans they applauded <laughs> when we were shot. So, I mean, you know, uh, however it goes around. Uh, the thing about um, uh, Easy Rider didn't revolutionize the movie business. Uh, they patted me on the back, and they were very nice to me, and it made uh, Bert Schneider, Bob Rapelson, myself, Nicholson, and Fonda some bread, you know, good bread. And I think, I think it's a good movie, an excellent movie, and it has some firsts uh, uh, in it, like it's the first time that a movie was made where you used found music rather than having a score written for, for, uh, for a film. And there were, there were some new kind of things. I do think of it as a Western also, the campfires. The guy, they're the guys, the strangers come riding into town, same as if they were on horses. I think of it as that. It was a symbolic movie, and the, and the country was burning down at the time, and it, it showed that uh, you could smoke a joint, like when Nicholson and uh, marijuana, and not go out and kill a bunch of nurses, you know what I mean? And it introduced cocaine, which uh, I don't know about that, but like, you know, it seems to be popular. But like, yeah, as far as like uh, revolutionizing the movie business, uh, the movie business is built on a uh, on a, a structure that uh, uh, I wasn't doing them a favor making a movie for three hundred forty thousand dollars when their low budget was a million two, because their tax structure and their structure is set up in such a way that I wasn't doing them a favor. As a matter of fact, I'm stabbing in the back, but nobody told me the game. I mean, you got to tell somebody the game, you know, when they're from Dodge City, Kansas. I thought I was doing them a favor, and uh, I, I was doing the people I named a favor. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it certainly spawned off. Yeah. yeah, a lot of, a lot of films, a lot of films, movies. and a lot of, yes, a lot of people got a chance to direct, uh, exactly. because That's they the figured if Dennis Hopper could do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> you know? But uh, a lot of bad films came out of that, too. And, uh, and then also a lot of films that were very excellent and good, uh, like Mean Streets and Badlands, and, and those films were just squelched and put away. Letting 30-year-old people direct movies was yeah. unheard of in the old, old Oh, world. yeah, because we had, I mean, the, yeah, they were all in their 70s, I mean, 60s and 70s, 60 was young, they were young directors, <laughs> and, uh, and it was a change of time, but, um, you know, I, I mean, I go to Hollywood now, and, 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 and my peer group are now sitting behind the desks, and uh, um, they, the system hasn't changed. Uh, they, they, uh, they had long hair, and they were my friends. They still are my friends. Doesn't mean they're giving me jobs, or, or that uh, I should expect because we're friends that someone should give me a job. However, uh, the structure is exactly the same as it was. I mean, uh, it's... Uh, put all the eggs in one basket and uh, I mean if you make a picture for a million dollars you can't steal a million dollars you know what I mean I don't know would they steal money you know what I mean but I don't know they don't but I I, I think so however I saw Roger Corman he said uh, uh, he was on something the other night and he said uh, that uh, that the films that he made for those lower budgets uh, uh, you know for AIP that that just couldn't be you know, done anymore, or, or wouldn't be worth doing anymore because the structure of the studio system, uh, which he wasn't going to go into, couldn't financially allow it to happen. And I will end it with that. I think I said too much already. <laughs> no, no, I mean about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're talking about that, that, that two, uh, two of your pictures, you gave really excellent performances of tracks, the Henry Jaguar movie. Uh, 
which I know was always shot on the run on, on the Where was it ever? <laughs> on the railroad <laughs> shoot for a while on the railroad and get kicked off and wait yeah. for the next train and get back on, etc. Go on the railroad.